What they are doing, everything is there. Sargalok. But we cannot come here sometimes to visit us, so we cannot go there. But you cannot see them. Your philosophy is unless you see, you don't believe. That is your philosophy. But you do not consider what you can see. That is the defect of this imperfect world, that people do not think that they are imperfect. With all imperfectness, they think they are perfect. That is the difference. That what is andha, one is blind and he is becoming the leader of other blind men. Andha jathandhai rupaniyamana stepi satantra udhamni vardha. Isatantra, by the laws of nature, he is bound up very tight hands and legs, and he is thinking, he is free to think, free to see, free to... That is the it. He is not at all free. Completely under the clutches of material laws, and he is thinking that he is free. That is the difference. And when this sense comes, that I am not free, everything is forced upon me, then he becomes human being. Otherwise he's a dog. It's like you see, dog thinks he is free. Jumping here, there, he thinks he is independent. Barking, attacking somebody, then he thinks, thinking he is free to do everything. When one comes to this sense that he is not free, that is beginning of human life. Then the question will be, and why I am not free? What is the reason? And then that is real human life begins. Otherwise a dog. Is it correct or not? What do you think? If one is not free and wrongly thinks that he is free, so what is that? Mentality. The dog is mentality. And if I say, yes, you are free, he can think in any way you like, that is correct. Then you become more encouraged to remain a fool, to continue. That's all. So we shall go now. That is the defective part of modern civilization. Everyone is thinking, I am free. Is it not? Yes. Everyone. I am perfect, I am like you. Yes. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, 16th chapter. I am Adhosmi, Dharmanasmi, Gosthi, Mahasama, who is there like me, intelligent. I'll do this, I'll do that. These are all. Therefore, Krishna has imposed death. You may make your plan as free man. But he will not be allowed to stay. I will kick him out. This poor man, they did not think of it, that I am making so nice plan, but at any moment I will be kicked out. So where is my freedom? Dull brain does not think of it. A prisoner, if he thinks that he is free to act, is it not foolishness? A prisoner, in prison, and if he thinks that he is free to act, is it not foolishness? Yes. Then they do not think. Therefore Krishna has uh, grouped them, Murha, these rascals, Murha. They conduct freedom movement, mm. uh, just like in our country also. Mm. Before this, British Empire or this uh, Mahamudan Empire, there was no knowledge about this freedom. Indian people never thought of freedom. They know that we are not free. 
where is the question of freedom? These things have come from the foreign countries, freedom movement. What is freedom? Where are you free? You are completely under the laws of nature. Where is your freedom? So they were thinking of greater freedom, to get out of the clutches of the laws of nature. That is real freedom. What is this freedom? Hmm? From frying pan to the fire. <laughs> now we have come freedom means from frying pan to the fire. Hmm? Formerly there was one Vaishwa. Hmm. Now in each state three dozen Vaishwa. Hmm. And you have to maintain them. So many legislators, so many secretaries, so many ministers, hmm. all that sucking our poor blood. And as soon as you approach them for some grievances, all right, give me application. And after six months, no. So we are maintaining you for this purpose? Yes. I say no. Hare Krishna. King of freedom, but we have no freedom even to stay in this body. Yes, that is not your own. Not, not our friend. Somebody else controls. Huh? Somebody else is controlling that. We learned that Nahanna uh, to Hanuman is very This is my position. I am eternal. So why I am obliged to accept body, which is Hanuman? These questions do not bother them. And where is my freedom? I am eternal, nahana chahannamana sarile. I do not die after the destruction of my body. Then why I am put into this body? Which will be destroyed? Which will become old, useless? And where is my freedom? These things do not bother them. I am the reader of Bhagavad Gita. Is it the scene of some of the souls that are, they are made to come here? Eh? Is it the scene of some of the... That, that we shall consider. First yeah. of all, we have to see that I learned that my position is na hanna ca hanna hmm. So why I am put into this body? Why? It is hanna man. Hare Krishna. Jaya. This is a question at a time. It's a fool. Yes. This is why I generally say, Mura. They want to remain in darkness and any leader who will keep him in the darkness with flowery language, he will be welcome. Oh, he is very good leader. Mm. And this man is very conservative. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> oh, here is freedom. Mm. Uh, whatever you like you do, here is freedom. It is rascal does not do adultery when you go to hell. That is it. Krishna therefore says, you rascal, where is your freedom? Janma mutsu darabhyadi dukkha dosha anudarsana. First of all, you see. Janma mutsu darabhyadi. So where is your freedom? First of all, get out of these things, then the question of freedom. This is real knowledge. Then where is my freedom? If I am under the rules and regulation of Janma Mitsu Jarabhadi, then where is my freedom? Hare Krishna. Simply Rabar and freedom will help me. Suppose I was dependent on British rule and now I become free. So will it help me to get freedom from Janma Mitsu Jarabhadi? Then, what is my freedom? What are major questions they are set aside? Don't discuss all these things. And our philosophy is that don't bother with these trifle things. Just seriously think of the major problems. This is our philosophy. Just to deliver them from this ocean of mṛtyu saṅsāya. That is not clear. Real freedom he is given by him, that he don't care. Yeah, the so-called freedom giver, he has no freedom. 
and what he will give freedom. Gandhiji preached so much about non-violence, and non-violence said, all right, you have no freedom from non-violence, it dies. 